Hey, what's up guys? I'm Arturo and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up your Focusrite audio interface with Neural DSP plugins. And in this case I'm going to be using Archetype Rapia, but again this will work with any Neural DSP plugin. So if you're just now getting your Focusrite interface, uh, once you plug it in, if you don't have Focusrite control already installed, you'll probably get a download that pops up into your uh, file explorer uh, showing Focusrite uh, control.exe or something along those lines and click on that and once you get that installed uh, go ahead and open up Focusrite control again there are so many videos on how to install Focusrite control and I'll put those in the description as well so once you have your Focusrite control open uh, Go ahead and get a or do a quick test of the different uh, interactive buttons right here. And as you can see, if you click air, uh, you should see the um, uh, orange air or like orangish yellow air popping up on your um, first input of your audio interface. So in my case, it is working just fine because I already have it set up. Uh, yeah, so all that's working good. Uh, and go ahead and double check your sample rate. Uh, by default, I believe it has it set to 48 kilohertz. So this is pretty, this is good. So I'll leave that as is. So I'll go ahead and close out of that. And once you close out of that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and open up Archetype Rabia. So by default, uh, it's going to want to have it set to your audio device type to Windows Audio, which uh, by default that's what it's going to have. But as you can see, it's it is showing Focusrite uh, USB audio through the output and input. It also has the analog Focusrite USB audio. Uh, this is incorrect because if you have it set up like this you'll notice that you're getting very bad latency and the only way to fix that is to adjust your sample rate which can uh, really affect how your recordings will turn out and how everything will sound um, in post-processing so what you want to do is set your audio device type to ASIO and again the only way you can set it to ASIO is if you have your Focusrite control installed so as you can see, uh, we have Focusrite uh, USB audio, or USB ASIO, and that's good. So uh, as you can see, we only have one output channel, which is which is fine. That's what it is by default, but you have the option of adding a second output, but I'm not going to do that today. Uh, you have your two inputs, so that is your left and right input. Uh, you have the option of setting this to stereo or mono in Neural DSP. So, yeah, uh, everything now is set up. You got the 48 kilohertz and 480 uh, 10 millisecond sample rate. So this is all good to go. But I'm going to double check it real quick. And to do that, I'm just going to press the test button. You should hear a approximately 40, 440 hertz tone coming out of your speakers. So I'm hearing that through my speakers, so that means that my interface is set up with Neural DSP. And you, there is also another way you can triple check it, and if you see right here, the audio is spiking a little bit up and down right here, so that means that there's audio going into the interface. So that means that that's working well. And again, you have the option of uh, changing your inputs from mono to stereo, so if you're recording with two different, if you're recording the interface with two inputs you have the option of recording left and right audio or whatever suits your needs so uh, yeah that is how you set up a Focusrite interface with Neural DSP thanks so much for watching